Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Deck Talk. For the first episode of Deck Talk, we're going to be talking about player etiquette. Now this is going to be short and straightforward, so it's probably going to help you if you take out a piece of paper and pen and start writing down these things. So, just to start off, always keep a cool head. Reason being, you'll be able to think a little bit better, also players are going to like you a little bit more, and some of the other stuff that you can probably figure out on your own. Speak clearly, don't mumble. The players want to know what you're doing, and obviously you don't want to sound like a little shy punk. Don't try and be funny. And I'm wrong hat. Some players, when they're playing a the game, they don't want to hear jokes, they don't want to hear all that friendly bullshit. They just want to get down and want to get down and play the game. So if they're just going to try and make friends or whatever, go somewhere else. Don't go to a magic game. I mean, I'm not saying every magic player is a tight ass, but every now and then, you know, you're not going to come across too many friendly faces. If you're going to try and be funny, just at least wait for the right moment to be funny. So that way you won't, you know, look like a fool. Another thing, when trading, keep a price guy. For two reasons. There are some players out there who are going to try to rip you off. And also for another reason, in case, you know, you're trading with someone who doesn't really know what they're doing, it'd just be the right thing to, like, let them know what they're go what what's the price of this card, so that way, especially if they're a beginner, They'll know what to look. They'll know what they'll want to get out of that card. What they want to trade for and stuff. Also, something else. Just right and take a shower, please. You don't know how. Uh, you know what? Never mind. I'm pretty sure you guys have come across so many different players who just. <laughs> Maybe I'm taking this a little too seriously, but who have their ass crack showing or hairs all over the place and they smell like ass. No, that's not going to fly. Yeah, I'm not saying you have to dedicate yourself to to having the right dress code and a perfect hygiene, just like you dedicate yourself to Magic the Gathering or any other card game that you play. I'm just saying it won't kill you to put on clothes that match and the not smell pretty, but just don't have a scent on you at all. It doesn't kill yourself to brush your teeth because obviously you don't need those as you go on throughout life. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tape. I'm going to keep it short and sweet and just taste some of the stuff that you should know and hopefully that you want to know. Thanks for watching!